everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this mint swirl Christmas bauble, which is the bauble that you see here. Uh, it is number six in a series of seven Christmas baubles that I have done. You can find the other Christmas baubles uh, under the Christmas ornament playlist here on my YouTube channel or the holiday decor. Um, it is made using a worsted weight yarn called Heartland by Lion Brand. You can, can of course substitute it for another worsted weight yarn if you choose uh, this worsted weight yarn. It's a little bit on the thinner side, uh, more similar to maybe a Karen Simply Soft if you're looking for an equivalent. It is worked in two colors and you're going to need about 50 yards of each color. I will also be working this ornament around one of these Christmas craft plastic baubles. You may choose to up, uh, upcycle one that you have from your tree or else uh, find these at a craft store or a dollar store. This one is about a 10 inch circumference. The other option is to use a little bit of fiber fill and at the appropriate time in the pattern you can simply stuff it, it and I will give you the instructions for this variation uh, both here on the video and on my written pattern. For this you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook and a stitch marker and then of course a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for finishing off. The free written pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I will provide the direct link for you in the notes to this video. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's updated weekly and uh, now that uh, we've gone over the materials and that, let's get started and we'll learn how to crochet this mint swirl bobble. So for my pattern today, I'm going to be using two colors of this Heartland by Lion Brand. I'm going to be using the Seguero Green along with the Acadia, which is a lighter kind of a ran color. Um, my green will be the color A and the lighter color here, the Acadia, will be my color B. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our color A and you can either begin by making a magic ring or you may chain four and slip stitch into that first chain in order to form your ring. Once you have your ring made, you're going to chain one and work six single crochet stitches into the center of your ring. This pattern is worked in continuous rounds, which means you will not be joining or turning at the end of each round. Instead, you're going to use a stitch marker to mark the first stitch of each round. For round two, you're going to work two single crochet stitches, working in the back loop only of each stitch all the way around. Uh, one more note for this pattern, you will always be working in this back loop. To find your back loop, you're going to take a look at the top of your stitch and you will see this V here. Your back loop is that horizontal bar that is the furthest away from you. You're going to insert your hook under that horizontal bar only. So you will do that for the entire pattern. So round two, working under the back loop only, work two single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around. Remember to mark your first stitch. And at the end of each round, you're, uh, at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to work two single crochet stitches, again, back loop only, 
in that first stitch, followed by one single crochet in the next. Repeat that two single crochet stitches in the next stitch and one in the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around and at the end of this round you will have a total of 18 stitches. For our increase rounds we're going to be always increasing by multiples of six. For round four, you're going to work two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, followed by one single crochet in each of the next two. Repeat that two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, followed by one in each of the next two, and you're going to do that all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, you're going to work two single crochet stitches in that next stitch. And you may have guessed it by now, but you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that, two single crochet stitches in the next, followed by one in each of the next three. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 30 stitches. For round six, you're going to work two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. followed by one single crochet in each of the next four. Repeat that, two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, followed by one in each of the next four. When you come to the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 36 stitches. For round seven, you're going to work two single crochet stitches in that first stitch, followed by one single crochet in each of the next five. Repeat that all the way around, two single crochet in the next stitch, one in each of the next five. And at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 42 stitches. Now for round eight, if you have worked my other Christmas baubles, you will see that there's a slight variation in this pattern compared to the other five that we have done thus far. For round eight is where you are going to start working your color work. So at this time, if you haven't already, head over to my blog and pick up uh, this chart that you will see there. It is also included in the paid PDF if you decide to purchase one. Now this chart here is our color work. And how it is read is that each square, each individual square on this chart equals one single crochet stitch. So there are a total of 48 columns because there are 48 stitches in each round. There are 11 rows because there's going to be 11 rows of this color work. So for round eight, what we are going to do is using our color A, which on my chart is in white, I am going to work one single crochet stitch and it's also an in increase round. So my first 
46 stitches are all going to be in my color A in my green color. And then for the last two stitches in this round, I'm going to switch to my color B. So for round eight, you are going to continue for one more round of your increase stitches. So you're going to work in the next stitch two single crochet stitches, followed by one single crochet in each of the next six. And at this time, you're working in your color A. You're going to repeat that two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, followed by one in each of the next six. And you're going to repeat that all the way around to your final two stitches. At your final two stitches, you're going to want to switch to your color B. So at that point, I will meet you back here and we will go over the color changes together. At the end of your round eight, you're going to have a total of 48 stitches. Now I am just working my final repeat. Uh, I am on my last five, six, uh, last six stitches here. So there's one, two, three, and then I'm going to work my fourth. Now when you're changing colors in crochet, the way that I like to do it is I like to change in the stitch prior to where I want my color worked. So in this pattern that we're following, I want my color in the final two stitches. So that means on stitch 46, that's when I'm going to want to switch colors in that stitch prior to the one. So what I'm going to do in order to switch my colors, I've worked my two single crochet, then one, two, three. I need one more here. I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to yarn over and drop a loop to my color A. But I want to be ready to work my color B. So I'm going to drop my color A. I'm going to pick up my color B and place it on my hook. And then I'm going to pull through those two loops. Adjust my tension just slightly. And then I am ready to go in my final two stitches with my color B. Now you'll notice on your chart, after you work your two stitches in color B, you're going to come back and you're going to always read your chart in the same direction. So you're going to come back to your right hand side. And then those first two stitches in the next row, row nine, round nine, those are back in my color A. So that means I've worked one in my color B and my second stitch, I'm going to want to switch back. So with my color B, I insert my hook, I drop a loop, then I drop my color B I pick up my color A, place it on my hook, and complete the stitch. I'm now ready to work the next two stitches in my color A. So you're going to continue working in that way all the way around. For the rest of the rounds, you're simply working one single crochet stitch in each stitch. So for round nine, the first two are in my color A. So I work one stitch in color A, and the non-working yarn, I'm simply working over top of it. Now I want to switch back to color B after that second stitch. So I drop A, pick up B, and complete the stitch. Continue working two more in color B, switch to my color A. And at first you might find it a little tedious or a little bit tricky, especially this one where there are a lot of other color changes. Um, there are some other baubles on the Christmas playlist here on my YouTube channel that have a little less color changing in them. So you might want to start out with one of those if you are having uh, difficulty. I'm just going to continue doing this following the pattern on my chart. Now you will notice that as you come here down around stitch number 45, 
there is a little bit of a difference in the pattern and that's going to be so that your swirl is continuous around your bauble okay so there is between your two color B's there's only one color A instead of two okay so there is a slight variation there I just wanted to point that out so go ahead and work work um, work that design and uh, then when you are ready to work your decrease rounds meet me back here and uh, we will go over those together now once you have finished working the color work on your chart you're going to have something that looks like this and you will have completed rounds 8 through to 19 so this is what you're going to have at this time at that point you can set your chart aside and you're going to if you're working around your bobble you're going to take your bobble and you're going to insert it into the little sleeve that you have and for the rest of the pattern we're going to be working around if you have decided to stuff uh, your bobble with a little bit of fiber fill you're going to continue working your decrease rounds uh, until you have a smaller opening it just makes it a little bit easier uh, to fill so for round 20 we're going to begin our decrease rounds and you're going to start by working uh, in your color a and by working a single crochet two together over the first two stitches what you're going to do for your single crochet two together is you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over and draw up a loop insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over and draw up a third loop three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all three you're then going to replace your stitch marker now you will work one single crochet stitch in each of the next six stitches you're continuing to work in the back loop only You're going to repeat that all the way around your bobble. And at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 42 stitches. On 22, you're going to work one single crochet, two together. followed by one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around. And at the end of round 21, you're going to have a total of 36 stitches. You're going to single crochet two together. And then work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way around. And at the end of round 22, you're going to have a total of 30 stitches. Round 23, you're going to single crochet two together, followed by one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way around, and at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 24 stitches. Four. If you're working around your bobble, this is the last of your decrease rounds. For round 24, you're going to work a single crochet two together, followed by one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 18 stitches. At 
at the end of round 24, if you're working around the bauble, this is where you're going to finish off. If you are planning on stuffing it with a little bit of fiber fill, at this time you might want to go ahead and do that. And then you're going to work two more rounds of your decrease round. So a single crochet, two together, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch, and repeat that around. And then a final round of single crochet, two together, all the way around, just to close it off. When you are finished your bobble, regardless of the method you're doing, you're going to remove your stitch marker and you're going to fasten off that color A, leaving a little bit of a long tail, okay? Just like so. You may feel like uh, it's a little bit stretched around your bobble. You're just going to sort of shape it back into place. I find when the stitches relax a little bit, they are going to kind of go back into place and make your fabric a little bit smaller. Okay, so just form it around your bobble nicely and uh, it should look good. Then you are going to take your yarn needle and take that long tail that you have left and work around the opening, weaving in and out of the stitches on that final round. This is going to create a little bit of a drawstring and you're going to use it to pull the top of your work of your bobble closed. So just work that string in and out. When you come back to the beginning where you began, you're going to pull it tight around the opening and then I fasten it off with a little bit of a knot to make sure that it is nice and secure right close to the top so that it's hidden and then I'm going to weave in my end before clipping it off. Once you're finished that, you can replace the top of your bauble just like so. And there you have it. This is your mint swirl Christmas bauble. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you and crocheting with you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.